Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem where we have to find out how large the area of the red semicircle is. We have this big triangle here. We are given the length of the sides of this triangle and that it is a right triangle. And in here we have this semicircle and the semicircle touches the triangle here at this point and at this point as well. And we have to find the area of the semicircle, so I call this area A. And what's the formula for the area of a semicircle? Well, if we want to find the area of a full circle, the formula is pi times the radius squared. But here we only have a semicircle, so we just take half of this formula here. So one half times pi times the radius squared. So as soon as we know the radius of our semicircle, so here from the center to the edge of the semicircle, this is my radius. As soon as we have this radius, we can find the area of the semicircle. So let's try and find the radius. What do we know about our figure here? Well, the semicircle touches my triangle here and here. And usually these points are pretty important to solve these questions. So I can draw the radius from the center of the semicircle to this touching point here. And then this is the radius of my semicircle, but I also know one more thing. Because this side here touches my circle, this side is a tangent to my circle, and the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius of the circle at this touching point. So we have a right angle here, and we can do the same with this touching point here. We draw the radius from the center to the edge of the semicircle. This is definitely my radius. And because this side here touches my circle, it is a tangent again, so I have a right angle here again. So I have a right angle, a right angle, a right angle, then I know that I have another right angle here automatically, so that I get a square here. I have length r, I have length r, so I know that I have length r here again, and I have length r here again. So we just divided the big triangle into this small triangle, into this square, and into this triangle here. So our big triangle consists of these three parts now. What do we know about our smaller triangles? If we take a look at the length of this side here first, how long is this part? Well, we know that the entire side is of length 15, which would be too long, so 15 cannot be the answer. But if we just subtract this part here that we don't want to have in here, so the r, then we have 15 minus r as the length of this part here. And the same with this small triangle. How long is this part? Well, we know the length of the entire side is of length 8, which would be too long. So we have to subtract the part that we don't want, which is this r here. So we just subtract the r. Okay, so we know some things about our triangles and about the square. And the big triangle consists of these three parts. And we can also find the area of this big triangle because we have the lengths of all the sides and we know that it is a right triangle. So let's try and find the area of the big triangle. The formula for that is 
base times height over 2. What is my base? What is my height of the big triangle? As a base, I can take the 15, so I insert the 15 in here, and as a height, I need the side that is perpendicular to my base, which is the 8 here, so I insert the 8 in here. If I want to calculate this, I have 8 over 2, which equals 4, and then I have 4 times 15, which equals 60. So in total, the area of my big triangle is 60. How does this help us now with our radius? Well, we said that our big triangle consists of the smaller parts, so I can find the area of my small triangle that I call A1. I can find the area of the square, which I call A2, and I can find the area of this triangle that I call A3. So the area of my big triangle consists of A1 plus A2 plus A3, and I already know that it has to be equal to 60. Let's start with A1. This is our small triangle, so the formula for the area is again base times height over 2. The base this time is my R, and I multiplied by the height by 8 minus R, I just have to write it in parentheses, plus my area 2 is my square, so the area of a square is r times r, which gives me r squared, plus my area 3 is this triangle here, so I have base times height over 2. Again, the base this time is this part here that I write in parentheses, so I have 15 minus r, and I have to multiply it by the height, which is my r, and all of this is going to be equal to 60. Now, we have one equation here. We only have r as an unknown in here. We can solve this equation for r, and then we have our radius. So, that's the plan. Um, how can we solve for r? Maybe we first get rid of the fractions, because we have over 2 here, over 2 here. If we multiply both sides of the equation by 2, so times 2 here, and also times 2 here, then we can get rid of the fractions. So we multiply. 2 times this fraction first, this 2 cancels out, and only what we had in the numerator is what is left here, plus we have to multiply by 2 here as well, so 2 times r squared is just 2r squared, plus if we multiply this part by 2, the 2 cancels out here again, and only this part is what is left. We have no fractions anymore, and on the other side, 60 times 2 equals 120. Okay, let's get rid of some parentheses. Let's multiply here. r times 8 equals 8r. r times negative r equals negative r squared, plus the 2r squared, plus we multiply here as well. 15 times r equals 15r. Negative r times r equals negative r squared equals 120. Let's simplify a little bit. We have 2r squared minus 1r squared minus another r squared. All of this cancels out. And we have 15r plus 8r, which equals 23r, and this equals 120. And to solve for r, we just have to divide by the 23, both sides. This cancels out, 
only R is left. And we end up with this beautiful fraction of 120 over 23 for our radius. We take this, we just need a number, no matter how it looks like, this is the exact value of our radius. And we insert it here into our formula for the area of our semicircle. We have 1 half times pi times. For the radius, we have 120 over 23 all of this squared. And if you put this into a calculator, we get a result of 42.76. And we solved this problem. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.